one can of cream and mushroom soup. It is 10.5 ounces. One cup of milk. I'm gonna stir that a little bit, get that mixed up pretty well. Mixed in. Okay. And I have one can of French style green beans. I just like those kind. You can use whatever kind of vegetables you want. Corn, green beans, whatever. It's a 14.25 ounce. Pour that on top here. One cup, I'm gonna use this cup right here. One cup of brown rice. And you can adjust this for however many people you need to make it for. Stir that in a little bit. And it's the quick um, cook rice, so it doesn't take long. On this end, I have one pound of ground beef that I um, browned and seasoned and put a little bit of onions and peppers in. I'm going to sprinkle that on top of the casserole here. Can you see that? My hand keeps getting in the way, but put in there. spread it over the top. Some pinko bread crumbs. Those over the top. Just a little. And I'm gonna add about a cup of Kobe Jack. If you like more cheese, add more cheese to it. If you like less, just add less. So I am going to cover this. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator overnight and we are going to cook it tomorrow for our lunch. I'm going to use one of my vintage baking tips. <laughs> Let your casserole sit overnight so it makes them taste better. Give them more of a rich taste. Okay. I'm going to put that let that sit in the refrigerator overnight and we'll bake it tomorrow. And the casserole has been sitting in the refrigerator since yesterday. We're gonna have this for dinner, so I'm putting it in the oven at 350 for about an hour. We'll be back. Hi everyone, back. The casserole is ready. It looks good. You know, what can casseroles look like? But yeah, it smells good too. So I'm gonna take a bite. It's really good. It's creamy, cheese, rice. It tastes really good. It's something quick and easy. So I hope you like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell to see more content like this. And we will see you next time. Your vintage baking Bye. tip today is when making baked goods like muffins or pancakes, leave a few lumps in your batter. It makes your pancakes and muffins a lot fluffier and light. And they just taste better.